Hi everyone, welcome to my messy desk. Um, today I am bringing you a December daily process. So I'm just skipping through to find the pages and I was listening to some Christmas songs as I tried to show you at the beginning of this. So I printed all of my pictures out onto 4 by 4 You'll notice in the earlier weeks um, one, I was kind of trying to work out what size to do my pictures um, and it was too bitty for me to do all different sizes because of the weird, I suppose, format that I'm using to do December daily in. Um, so this time I have one 4x4 four four picture that represents that particular day. These um, pages, the bits of paper, are cut from a Dovecraft uh, Crafty Christmas set which I've been using. I bought the paper pad because it wasn't overly Christmassy so I figured I'd be able to use a lot of it throughout the year anyway and just save the ones that look like well the ones that had reindeers on basically. <laughs> I don't think I can use the reindeer ones every every day but um, the first one here from the seventh this was me ill so I had the day off work. I actually ended up having I don't know like four days off which is the most I think I've ever had off. Um, so, and the last time I took time off was a long time before that. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't a particularly fun part of December for me, and um, you'll see it kind of represented in a lot of the pictures um, because they're basically not really of anything because not a lot happened. I was just trying to get better. So, um, this is actually just a picture of my foot because there was no way I was taking a selfie but with my tree in the background and I thought it kind of looks Christmassy even if I was not feeling Christmassy at all. Um, the little corner um, photo corners, I got a whole set of them from Amazon, really cheap. Um, they didn't have a brand or anything. Um, <clears throat> I've got or trialled a different setup for it this time. Um, it's one where I can get more light onto the table. Uh, I think it worked better, it's just that sometimes the table wibbled and then uh, nightmare. Um, this is one of my new roller stamps. I don't have it near me so I can't remember. I think they're Dear Lizzie stamps. Um, but it says on it, today was. And then I've just kind of written a little bit about how I was not feeling good at all. I'm not sure what I do with that. I guess I stick it on. Where where have I gone? Hmm. My arm will come back saying, oh there we go. I should just cut that bit out really. And I just stuck down the tassely bits where I wanted them to go, but I was quite pleased with that page, I thought it looked quite cute. Um I don't think I add maybe I had a wood veneer or, oh yes I'm still trying to get all these phrases in because I want to get rid of them but I do have quite a lot of full project life spreads around the Christmas time that I need to do um, so I stuck a little enamel dot on there to bring some of the red through um, and I'm sure oh no I don't add um, any of those tiny word stickers this is just where I was supposed to have a friend around in the evening we postponed it till the next day um, but to be honest, I still wasn't really feeling up to it then. Um, but here I just uh, took a picture of the table. I did some cleaning while I was not feeling too sharp. And by cleaning, I mean I tidied my room up, like my uh, living room up a little bit. Um, stuck some crackers on the table. Um, and I thought that that picture looked really Christmassy. It was just an Instagram picture. Um, so I liked that one, so I stuck that on there. Then I stuck a few of these little stars and Christmas trees and we're already on the 8th and I still have so much of the Christmas stuff that I bought to use up so I don't think I'll be buying anything next year for December daily. I think I've gone overboard and to be honest I didn't think I had that much but um, it's just not really gone, well it's gone insanely far basically. I think if I'd have used a different setup it probably would have been a bit easier but the um, setup that I ended on, or ended up using, was this 5x7 layout. I don't think I'll do that next year. Ooh, go on, get rid of a wood veneer, Sam. Yes, one down. 24 bazillion left to go. Sticking, sticking, sticking with my sticky mouse. And then I'll stick it in. I love the little number. Um, sticker plan that's really that's really been working out for me 
um, and generally think it looks okay, it looks fairly cute. So I get my next lot of pictures. This was when my friends came around and I made them um, like Italian-y type themed food and I was feeling a lot better by the end of Wednesday. Um, so they had, oh, what, did I, what did I make? Uh, stuffed peppers, oh you can see it there. Um, with this sort of bolognese type sauce in it. It wasn't quite bolognese but it was, it was close. Um, and we had bruschetta for starter and then I did peach crumble for dessert because it was easy enough to do um, all of it was fairly easy so I already had the meat in the freezer to make my life easy <laughs> this um, tag is from a recent haul um, which I got from crafty Charlie I believe um, and I just um, stuck a few comments on there and use the roller stamps you are going to see so much of the roller stamps because I am so chuffed with the ones I've got so they're coming out kind of all of the time I quite like where this is but it looks a bit too formal I don't know whether I ah maybe I use these to kind of break it up a little bit I need to I feel like I need something on slant I don't know whether I felt like that at the time because <laughs> this was a week or so ago now Uh, what does that say? Love and joy hmm, are meant to give? No, I don't think that's real. That can't be what it says, can it? Don't know what it says. Um, yes, I love these stickers, but again, I've got millions of them. I just can't use them all up. These are simple stories, Christmas themed ones. Um, so here, I added quite a lot of green and gold. I've got a gold enamel star dot. Well, it's not really a dot. It's a gold enamel star. Um, I'm trying to find out which, which picture was the next one. Um, then, I think it was back at work in the morning on the Thursday, and then they sent me home because <laughs> they didn't want to catch it, I don't think. So uh, here I'm just cutting out some more of the circles. Um, I just used sort of, not wood veneer, what's the word? almost like um, burlap type print of paper um, and then I just peeled them off and stuck them on so it was really easy to make the numbers um, I am quite behind now because it's the 22nd and I haven't done any more since I did this video so I've got quite a lot to do because actually quite a bit has happened since then um, my December once I got better became pretty active <laughs> hence why there's not been quite as many regular uploads um, this is probably quite a long video for me. Um, now this picture here is from where I was doing Christmas cards. Again, I'm using these corner um, or photo corners, which I thought looked really cute. And then this is the reindeer background that I can only really use for Christmas. All the others, I think I could potentially use at other times. And there are some snowflake ones, but there's not. It's not even been cold here in the UK. It's not. Well, it's permanently not warm but it's not really been cold cold I think there's only been one frost it's really really mild for for um, the UK I think just rainy dark drab miserable and don't really feel that Christmassy which is a bit of a shame um, I've got a little sentiment on there that says have yourself a merry little Christmas I thought that that was relevant because that's basically what I was sending out except that the one to my brother there says um, brother uh, I can't remember exactly the wording on it, but it says um, what I'm getting you for Christmas is burger all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that really made me laugh. This little um, writing crimbo cards thingy came from the die cut set that I got in a recent Crafty Charlie haul as well, which is va again vaguely Christmas themed. It's more winter themed, so I figured that's what I went for winter themed things because that'll probably be more useful on my project life because it is winter here for a long time I'm um, stuck one of these little snowflakes in there that I actually got from Lidl so if you go in there sometimes I accidentally cut the corner of this picture off when I was trying to be uh, quick but if you go in Lidl sometimes they do um, paper themed sales and they're like bargain bucket things in the middle and they had some really cute 
um, stickers actually these circle ones which I've used on quite a lot of Christmas presents because um, I just knew I wasn't going to use them all in December daily and the sparkly snowflakes here I'm just uh, finding um, sort of a phrase that I'd seen earlier in my in that little book um, that says get it done because I was making sweets this was a really long-winded process that went on from all of Friday and some of Saturday morning um, and I made a whole load of sweets fudge what else did I make I made fudge coconut ice lollipops sherbet um, and I made cookies packed it all up um, and took it to my friends for our fake Christmas and that was all of their Christmas presents um, so it was a nice idea but it was really hard I thought that um, lollipops would be fairly straightforward but I burnt the first lot so you've really got to watch the thermometer don't get bored and walk away like I did um, so I'm just sticking the number on I think this one's nearly done I think I add a few maybe sparkly things um, I really love the labels and how they came out this is one of my favorite ones I think actually um, as the days go on I kind of get more into it and the layouts look better I think and it's just I've never done sort of layouts like this on five by seven and it it did take some getting used to and to work out exactly what works for you here I've just got a few pictures and I will be uploading a full project life spread um, on this which is the fake Christmas that I have every we call it fake Christmas but it's a a Christmas day that we have with all of our friends all together so we all get together one of us hosts it each year it was my turn last year um, it was my friend Neves this year and they host it we host it at our houses we cook a roast dinner everyone turns up early we normally go for a walk we watch Christmas films we play games um, and we eat a Christmas dinner and we all exchange presents and we all have a stocking so it's basically like Christmas um, but just with friends which is really lovely so um, I've got some pictures of all of the couples there and then just me <laughs> with my friend Lisa at the top with a reindeer hat on oh my friend decided to spike the punch with not punch what is it called um oh, mulled wine with gin and because I had a cold I couldn't taste it yeah I, I drank way too much as you can tell by the fact that I have a reindeer hat on and then half of a putty hat hanging off yeah but it was really really good fun this was so annoying this uh, Christmas word um, that came from the simple stories one I didn't realize that it was gonna come off in sections which I suppose is a good thing it's just once you get a little bit up you feel like yes it's gonna be easy from here but it kind of wasn't and then I ripped the tea oh it was a nightmare so I start off with this curly lettering to say Christmas and then I add these little uh, tiny letter stickers that say fake <laughs> above it it was quite an early time for fake Christmas actually this year um, the glittery tape that I used around the outside I got from Tesco actually and they also found the other day a gold one but I resisted the urge to buy it but it was wide tape almost like a washi really you can peel it off almost like you can uh, washi tape so there you go I'm finished I finished it off so if I just kind of zoom in to show you there so that's the layout for these ones and then I've got another week to do which will be up soon so thank you for watching um, please subscribe like etc and see you in my next video bye